CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki is at the General Assembly for us tonight where there are dueling plans to improve your kids' education. As we get deeper into the pandemic, the NCAE and State Superintendent Catherine Truitt seem to agree that change is needed to improve your child's education. However, that doesn't mean they're on the same page about how to go about it. We don't want to uh, put our school personnel in unsafe conditions. That's why NCAA President Tamika Walker Kelly is calling for more support staff in schools, a minimum wage of $15 for school employees, and reinstating master's pay for educators. Because our classified staff have been our frontline school personnel in delivering meals, driving our buses, it's critically important that we raise the minimum wage for those staff workers because they are exposing themselves to COVID-19. In order to accomplish those goals, she's calling for an end to state-funded school vouchers. We do not support the taking of public dollars for private entities. To think that they would rather slam the schoolhouse door in the face of over 14,000 North Carolina students, mostly from low-income households, right here in the middle of the COVID pandemic is beyond me. Mike Long, president of Parents for Educational Freedom of North Carolina, isn't the only one criticizing that plan. A spokesperson for Senator Phil Berger sent me this statement that reads in part, you know what's missing from the list? Returning children to the classroom. We need that same energy to make sure that educators get vaccines, that schools have enough adequate PPE and additional funding to make sure that we can all return safely. In a release, State Superintendent Catherine Truitt says that she's working with the state board on a plan to overcome the COVID pandemic, but offered few details on exactly what that means. This is not rocket science. This is focusing on the problems and finding solution to those problems so that we can get our kids and our teachers back into our classrooms. Kelly says that the NCAE has yet to hear from Superintendent Truitt, who is expected to release her full plan to the General Assembly on Thursday. Reporting in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.